No follow through, squirting it up. Oh my God, straight in the hole for a two. Oh, and he's done it again. He really is making a move, this man. There's Trevino's little chip shot. And he's done it again. And he has this to win the Open. Trevino two strokes behind. On, nearly pin high, and to his left. A certain four, anyway, one would say. Trevino's a putt, so he too has got rather a shaker here. Yeah. Well done, right in the middle for Trevino. He stays one under, still within striking range. Tony Jacklin, the tournament leader at the moment, one stroke ahead of Doug Sanders, who himself is a stroke ahead of Brian Barnes and Lee Trevino. And that's a little far. Right away is behind the flag. This one's kind of a long one. He's motioning for some press men and photographers to move out of his line to free his vision behind the flag. This is the distance putt that at Birkdale last year he made again and again and again. Usually just watching the ball go into the hole and walking away. Oh. How that stayed out, he's saying. Looked like it was curving right into the hole from the left and right at the hole, straightened itself out. And didn't take that last break into the cup, so Trevino's got about a two inch putt for his three. And Trevino remains one under par through 13. So here's Lee Trevino with his second shot to the 14th. 447 yards, par four. Something like a four iron. Against what breeze there is and what a beauty that is. An obvious chance again for Lee Trevino. Here, he gets the three at the 70. And he's now only one behind Jacqueline. Trevino at the 15th. A longish putt for a birdie three. Oh, and he's done it again. He really is making a move, this man now. You've seen two magnificent putts from Trevino on the last two greens. So Trevino goes to three under. So what a situation we have here now with Tony Jacklin, just one stroke ahead of the joint second place men, Doug Sanders and Lee Trevino. Here's Trevino, nasty bunker shot at 16, slightly downhill. No follow through, squirting it up. Oh my God, straight in the hole for a two. Now, if you're ever going to win championships, well, those are the sort of things that happen to you. That was destined for 10 or 15 yards over the green, and it took one skip and a bounce, and it went straight in the hole. Well, he had a very nasty downhill bunker shot, and just look at Trevino roaring with love. It was, and he's pointing. That could have been halfway up the 17th fairway. Well, that's what good living shows. It all comes out in the end. Look at this. Watch how he drops the club down, drives it out. No follow through. The ball's really squirting at about 80 miles an hour. One, two, straight in the hole. And thank you very much. Trevino here and Jacqueline, the joint leaders now, four under.
Beautiful drive from Trevino. Slap bang in the middle of the fairway. He's had three birdies on the trot. And he's in good shape for a fourth. Right through the gap. Well, he hit a high one, pitched rather softly, running down onto the green, and in fact dead in the middle of the green, but about uh, four yards on, leaving him perhaps ten paces from the hole. This is Trevino, two putts from here, and he'll have his fourth successive birdie, and it's looking like one part of it runs. Oh, it's just nine inches short. Well, it would have been three birdies and an eagle, but as it is, that's four birdies in a row for Lee Trevino who's now five under, and uh, what a happy man he must be, and how the whole championship's changed yet again in the last 45 minutes, when this man getting four birdies in a row. Trevino at 18, leader with Jacqueline. Bang. Oh, and it's right through the gap, and it's the most monumental drive in absolutely the right spot. Absolute perfection. See him just without any hesitation punching this one up to the green. going off. Once they pass the flag, they nearly always go just off. he would probably just knock this one forward with a eight or nine iron. Quite coarse grass around the back of the green, bleached by the sun. Just knock it down and chop it forward. So easy just to touch the ground before the ball and leave it halfway, or in your efforts to get it close, give it a little too much. Jacqueline's still got to get to work on his and get down in two and the crowd are going completely berserk. Trevino, joint leader. Well, they squirted that, may have squirted that a bit too far to the left as you're looking at it. We'll have to see whether he's hooked it back in. Well, yes, he poked it out. Wasn't one of his better ones. But he's on the green, although a long way away, and Jacqueline is uh, in very good shape here indeed. He hasn't got a difficult putt. Long putt up the green at this par three. All of 15 or 16 yards. Well, you can see an excellent putt on the top side. Very good putt from the front of the green there by Trevino, who remains joint leader at six under par. See, it's a very short shot today, thrown up with an eight, even perhaps a nine iron, pitching it short, letting it come up. That's a good one. Jacqueline's at the back. Right corner, there we are, across the green, and it may well be just Trevino to putt first. Because it's on this green that Trevino started all his fireworks yesterday. He's finished up with five birdies from here. I bet he'd like him again today. No, oh no. That was a bit offline. <laughs> Well, Trevino is going to hole out. <laughs> 
tremendous tension now in these late stages. All the players are fully conversant to the fact that a, a wayward shot not only costs this championship, but many thousands and thousands of pounds in endorsements, checks, exhibition fees, a very nerve-wracking business. Yes, par four for Trevino, who remains six under par. Trevino's second shot at the 15th, flying high at the pin. Good shot. Excellent shot. Tremendous cut and thrust going on here. Just not going in today. He had that fantastic run yesterday afternoon over the last five holes. Today he's played possibly a lot better than he did on some of those holes, but the, nothing's happened yet. And he's going to putt out. Four for Trevino, who remains six under. Opportunity perhaps for Trevino here to step in. And uh, if you saw a replay, this is the whole way he pushed it into the bunker and holed out by mistake. That have been to the left too, I thought so. Yes, that's over the left for Trevino as well. Now we look forward to the left of Trevino. There's his cap. You can see he's in the sand too, and that's where he held up from last time. Well, there again, that might be the winning shot for this open. What a, what a shot to play when you come to think of it. When you've had an almighty fluke last night and pitched into the hole uh, from the bunker on the left there in the second bounce, which must have been enormously lucky, and you say, well, here I am again, I can't expect much now. And still, he puts it a foot away. And it's safely in for Trevino after that marvellous bunker shot. So they both have par threes at the 16th after all, and they go to the 17th tee, both level in the lead, both one ahead of Nicholas. Six under each. And Jacqueline and Trevino have two holes to play. He has bunkered it. He's put it in the first bunker, which is going to be very, uh, very bad because I don't think he can get do much out of there except hit it maybe 40 or 50 yards forward. He'll have great difficulty getting near the green in three. There you saw the lie he had. He fell down after he hit it. That ball couldn't have gone very far, and he's got he's 240 yards from the green, I would think, at this point. He's about 40 to 50 yards behind Jacqueline, and I'd say maybe 100 yards from the flag, or perhaps just a little bit less. Trevino playing his fourth to the par five, 17th from not the best looking position. And he's hit it through the green. And it's now going to maybe come back down the hill, but stops there. So Trevino is four there. He'll have to get down in two to save six. Jacqueline sitting down there, wishing that he'd hit that a lot closer to the hole, I'm sure. There's Trevino's little chip shot. Chipped it in for a five. Three times in two days. 
There's Trevino. Has a good go at it, and he's happy. It's a tremendously difficult drive, too. But that's miles down the middle, past all the bunkers, almost the longest we've seen. It's the most tremendous shot by Trevino. Looks like no more than a seven iron. As though, at long last, we have seen the shot that wins the open. Yes, Lee Trevino, the holder. No, oh, he's missed it. But I think he can afford to. And he has this to win the open, which he does. 6 under. And Lee Trevino wins the 1972 Open by one stroke from Jack Nicklaus and two strokes from Tony Jackson and three strokes from Doug Sanders and five strokes from Brian Barnes.